I laughed and shifted Amelia a little so I could reach my dinner better. It would probably have been easier to eat with her sitting next to me instead of on me, but I liked her here. Mom and Bryn talked forever about how cute Hudson was. Dinner was great, though. When we all finished, I reluctantly moved Amelia off my lap so I could help clear the table. Chase followed me into the kitchen with a stack of plates. What's going on, Coop? He asked, putting the plates down next to the sink. I don't know. I had dinner, and now I'm helping clean up because I'm an awesome son. I mean the girl. What about her? He glanced toward the dining room and lowered his voice. 22? Yeah, I actually didn't know that about her until just now, but so? It looked like he was trying not to smile. She's Bryn's age. And? Come on, dick, you gave me endless amounts of shit about Bryn's age, and now you bring this girl home and you expect me to keep quiet about it? I scowled at him. I don't see how that's the same. You got engaged to Brincess really fast. Cooper, you've never once brought a girl home to meet your mom. I started to reply, but I realized he was right. I never had brought a girl home for dinner before. Huh, that's interesting. Was she really supposed to get married on Saturday? Yeah. Chase shook his head. Okay, dude, I don't know what your game is, but I hope you know what you're doing. There's no game. Don't bullshit me. With you, there's always a game. I'm serious. I put my hands up. No game. She had a shitty thing happen, and we met, and she's awesome. She was supposed to go on a honeymoon, so I talked her into staying here for a Cooper moon instead. That's it. He raised an eyebrow. Okay. Bryn came in and put her hands on her hips. Cooper, what are you doing? I literally just had this conversation with Chase. I'm serious, she said. You bring a girl home for the first time ever, but she was supposed to marry someone else two days ago, and now she's with you? Oh, no, she's not with me, I said. Not like that. <laughs> that would be crazy, even for me. She's just a friend. Bryn raised her eyebrows. Just a friend? You just friends with a girl? Hey, I resent what you're implying. I've had lots of girls who were just friends. Name one who isn't Zoe. I opened my mouth to answer, but Zoe was the one I'd planned on pointing out. Okay, maybe Zoe is it, but she proves my point anyway. So you're friends with Amelia like you're friends with Zoe? I almost gagged. No, I've never slept with Zoe. Gross. Why are you interrogating me? Because she seems really nice and I don't understand what's happening, Bryn said. We've always been afraid the first girl you brought home would be a stripper named Cinnamon or something. Amelia seems so... so normal. Although she appears to understand your weirdness, so she can't be that normal. I don't know why you guys are making this into a thing. Amelia is my friend, and I'm helping her get over Ass Goblin. I was about to say she'd be leaving in two weeks when her Cooper Moon was over, but I couldn't quite get that part out. If I said it, I'd have to think about it, and thinking about it was depressing. No sense in dwelling on it.